everybody, this is Robert, Sigma 3 Survival School. Uh, we're doing another shelter video. I've actually done a shelter video on this specific shelter, but the sound and, and some of the quality wasn't so great on it. It was one of the first videos that we ever did. And so I wanted to show you all and uh, show you to you again. And basically what I'm constructing or what we're constructing is a a-frame debris bed or an a-frame kind of jungle hooch. It's a bed that's going to create a platform up off the ground so that if you've got any kind of bug issues or heat is, is a problem in whatever survival situation you're in, this is a good shelter that you can lash together in a short amount of time to get you up off the ground and keep you away from the creepy crawlies. So the first step is, is I'm just going to take two sticks. We're just going to lash them together, nothing fancy. You want to make sure that the tree is about seven feet apart. You don't want it too long otherwise you have to deal with the bow in the middle and things like that. Uh, you'll lash it to the actual tree on both sides, tie it off, and then there's going to be a header and then we're going to build right, the bed. So after you get your A-frames lashed together, you mount them to the tree, you go ahead and add your header, tie all this stuff together so that it's super, super sturdy. Um, make sure that you add your cross piece, you know, that your bed is actually going to sit on. This is the most important part. Make sure that you put a really good lashing on that because that's where essentially most of the weight is going to be. You can notch this stuff out to make it stronger, to make the pieces fit together, but honestly, it's, it's not necessary. Um, so the next step is, is we're going to fill in all the bed rafters. And when you're doing that, just make sure that, one, the sticks aren't too flimsy and they're, you're not going to get too much uh, bounce out of them. Uh, two, make sure that they're straight. And three, make sure that there isn't, you know, a bunch of knobby stuff sticking out that could stick you, you know, when you're sleeping on it at night. And after we get the bed frame built in, we're going to add some support underneath the middle, and then we're going to build a debris so bed the on top next step after we get our bed completed, you want to make sure that all your, your slats are slammed together as tightly as they can be. And you, like I said, you want straight sticks without a, bu a bunch of knobs in them. Now, this is fine just how it is. Let's say that I just needed to throw something together for one night and, you know, just to get away from the bugs or off the ground or whatever my reasoning might be. This bed is completely sturdy enough, you know, to handle as is, but it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So I've come up with a slight modification to where we're basically going to build a frame that is going to house debris. And we're going to fill the middle of this with debris so that it's a lot more comfortable because in a survival situation, comfort is a big deal. If, if you're psychologically broken down day after day after day because you're not getting a good night's rest, then that's going to affect your overall efficiency, and that's not something you can really handle in a survival situation. So anything that you can do to improve your efficiency and how well you're going to operate, you need to go ahead and do it, especially if you're going to be there longer term. So the next step is we're going to th uh, build up this frame and then so throw our debris. So we got the entire frame built. Basically, these are stacked up like Lincoln logs. You like to, you always want to lay your logs to the inside of the A-frame so that everything is sandwiched in between these, these outer posts. And you don't even necessarily have to tie these off just because of the way the structure is built. It'll actually stay together on its own. There's, there's no rope for the actual bedding holding it together. It's just all the way that it's built, it sandwiches it together. And the next step is you take your prepackaged debris here. <laughs> I stole this out of somebody's front yard. It's a hell of a lot better than raking a bunch of leaves in the forest, I can assure you. It's great for classes. But anyways, you just dump your debris in. And you want to get it just overflowing. And I can tell you, for, without a doubt, this is my favorite shelter to sleep in. Just because, one, it's up off the ground. Two, it's insulated because it has a lot of debris. And three... The whole thing about making debris beds is, is they have a way of conforming to your body. We kind of, you know, coinningly, or we've joked that we call it, you know, survival memory foam, essentially. And you'll notice after sleeping in it that it'll conform and shape to your body. And every single night you add a little bit more and a little bit more leaves, and it gets better and better the more you use it. So I'm going to fill this up, finish it off, sandwich it down, and then we'll come back and show you the finished product. So one of the things I like to do before using any kind of primitive shelter is I like to go ahead and smudge it out and make sure that 
the, you know, we get the bugs and nasty stuff we don't want chewing on us at night. I'll just use these fire starter sticks just for expediency, but punky wood works best. And you just get it going in your fireplace and then stick it under here. And it will help smoke out, help smoke your shelter out. And you'll, you'll literally just watch the bugs you're just crawling off because they can't handle the smoke. And if you find you're in a, a real buggy area, you can do this fairly often just to make sure that your shelter is always cleaned out. So, once you get your frame built, you start throwing your debris in. It's real important to get in here and actually compact the debris down because you'll find spots are looser than others and you want to find all the areas that uh, you don't feel as comfortable essentially and you also want to pit pluck any kind of twigs or sticks or anything out like that. Now this is probably my primary shelter that I like to go to especially if I have a tarp. Now you can make this type of uh, shelter completely waterproof. If we were down in the jungle I could build frames on both sides and, and you know thatch palm prawns or banana leaves or whatever I have down there to, to make a roof system. But I like this because this is essentially like having a hammock that's super comfortable. And I'm a stomach sleeper, so I can't really sleep on a normal hammock. Otherwise, I just, I just don't get the, the same kind of uh, good night's sleep. So I, I like this type of shelter. I'll bring my Bosha tarp with me, my normal survival shelter. And I'll, I'll build this kind of shelter, and then I'll, I'll basically just drape it over both sides of the header and I've got a completely waterproof shelter that's up away from the bugs it is, is warm even in a colder climate because I have so much insulation under me I can take hot rocks I can heat those up in the fire during in colder climates I can set them under there and it'll actually radi up, uh, radiate up through the actual bed so this is really a top choice as far as survival shelters are concerned in my opinion this is probably one of my top three favorites and it's, it's a lot better than sleeping on the ground, and it's, it's the most comfortable shelter as far as beds that I've ever slept in, bar none. So, anyways, it's another, you know, tool for your toolbox in the survival game, and anything that you can do to uh, provide some commentary, you know, things that you can add to these types of shelters, please, please do comment, and please help support us by subscribing. Thanks.